Hello everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! A tip of the cap to you, my lady. Ooh, my lady. Not great. Not a great start. I wanted to make this video because I've had a lot of people ask me about held items, and truly, there are only five held items in the game that matter, really, at all. Maybe six. There are very situational items that actually work out, but I think there are five that are far and away the best. I'm going to show you what those items are, I'm going to talk about how you should upgrade them, and I'm going to show you my item sets for all my characters. Yes, there are more than five items. Yes, there are some that are actually pretty good for specific Pokemon, and I will go over those. But in general, if you're looking to figure out which items to upgrade, there are a few that are far and away the best, and there are some that are absolutely useless, and I ended up spending some item enhancers on those, so what are you going to do? Let me take you to the game. Okay, let me show you the five best held items in the game. So, we will start with the number one best held item in the game. Right here, the Buddy Barrier. Buddy Barrier is, without question, the best item in the game. When you use your Unite move, you get a shield equal to 40% of your HP, and so does a nearby ally. It also gives you base HP. Nothing competes with this. Uh, this is the best item. You should probably have it on every single Pokemon. There are a couple I might not run it on. This is one of those uh, get out of get KO free cards, basically. You use this, you get a 40%. It's 40% of your life just going boop right back it's incredible and if you're near an ally they get it too and then if another ally uses it they get it and someone else gets it's just crazy it's it's uh probably gonna get nerfed it's too good you can run it on absolutely anyone in the game and it's one of the best items let's take a look at item number two item number two is the focus band the focus band is similar to a buddy barrier when you drop to low hp you recover a ton of hp at level 20, it is 14% of your HP lost uh, over three seconds. So it's hard to do that math in my head, but I think that's about 42% of your HP. Uh, this triggers once every 90 seconds in the game, so it doesn't happen just every time you start getting hit and your HP goes low. Uh, so if, you know, it's good because basically every team fight you wander into, you're probably going to have this item get set off if you end up getting focused on a little bit. Hey, focused on a little bit, a focus ban. So that is the second best item in the game to upgrade. You should definitely upgrade that. The third best item in the game to upgrade is the muscle band. The muscle band gives you attack. Not every Pokemon is attack based. So that part of it's not the biggest part. Basic attack speed is nice, but it's passive is the reason I think it is the third best item in Pokemon Unite. And that is because when your basic attack hits, just your simple A, when that hits people, it chunks away HP based on a percentage of the opposing Pokemon's HP. So that means even someone who is not particularly strong and not good at dealing a lot of damage can chunk away enemy HP at a rate that they wouldn't be able to otherwise. On any ranged Pokemon, this item is amazing. I run this item on an Eldegoss, and I will show you what I run for most every Pokemon here in a minute, but this item is unbelievably good. You should have it on most people. This is a most people item. The first two, you could pretty much, you can run on anyone and they'd be great. Buddy Barrier and uh, Focus Band. Muscle Band, really incredible. I run it on almost every Pokemon as well. Let's see, ah, our fourth item are the fourth item i'd say is fourth and fifth are kind of a tie and it depends on which pokemon you use but i'll show you the first one here wise glasses if you use one of the special attack pokemon and i have another video on my channel about which pokemon are uh, normal attack and which pokemon are special attack if you use a special attack pokemon you're almost always going to be running wise glasses not only because it gives you plus 29 special attack but the big thing is its special attack increase percentage, which at level 20 is 7%. So this is one of those items that just scales for your Pokemon. It's good early and it's good late as your Pokemon starts to get more and more powerful. If you're a special attacker, you're almost assuredly going to be running Wise Glasses. The next item 
that I would run on anyone with any bulk in the game is going to be a score shield. Score shield is quickly becoming my absolute favorite item in the game. It's kind of, <laughs> I, I say it is obscene. It is obscene what you can do with the score shield. So when you are going to a goal and you're pressing the score button, you get a shield equal to 10% of your max HP. And the goal cannot be interrupted while this is shielded. And so not only does it just give you a nice 300 HP bonus, but if you are someone with a lot of HP, you know, a defender or an all-rounder, some support, you can put this on and you will score in their faces. You will be scoring and they will be attacking you and they can't stop you. It's kind of ridiculous. It's one of the most ridiculous items. It's probably the most ridiculous item in the game right now. I absolutely love it and I'm running it on a ton of Pokemon. Those are the main items. There's one other that I think is worth mentioning, but it has a bit of a bug to it. At least that's what I understand. I have not tested this bug myself. It is a little bit bugged, but there are a few people who really take advantage of the scope lens. The scope lens increases damage of basic attack crits, and the higher the Pokemon's attack is, the more the damage increases. So there are a few people that you can run scope lens on and actually have some pretty incredible results. Absol comes to mind as an absolute, as an absolute necessary for this item. And uh, Cinderace is another person I like running a scope lens on. There are a few people you can run a scope lens on, and it works pretty well. So let me swap these back around we can start with my boy cramorant here uh we got energy amplifier which is not one of the ones i've mentioned we've got a buddy barrier and i would probably run wise glasses there are a few builds for cramorant here that i think work pretty well uh, and I will get to the order you should upgrade items here in a moment, but I figure right now I'm just going to show you builds for all the Pokemon I have. I'll try to make this relatively quick, and I'm just going to try to go through everybody here. So, uh, Energy Amp, Buddy Barrier, Wise Glasses. I didn't talk about Energy Amplifier as one of the best items. It is not, from what I understand. Another bug, the Unite Move Charge Rate is bugged, but on a couple Pokemon... They really, really benefit from this as a Unite move. I could easily see you swapping this, uh, if you don't have it, for a Focus Band to keep yourself alive. Great, that would be awesome. I could easily see you swapping this for a Muscle Band. Great, awesome. And if you happen to have upgraded your Shell Bell like I did early on, thinking it was the best item in the game, I could see you running something like this on Cramorant. But uh, in general, lately I've been running Energy Amp just because I want to take full advantage of this Pokemon's uh, Unite move, which is one of the best in the game, if not the best in the game. All right, let's go through the roster here. Venusaur. I run Wise Glasses for the special attack bonus, a Buddy Barrier because it's the best item, and a Focus Band in case people attack me. This is what I like to do. You could swap Focus Band out for maybe a Shell Bell, I would say. Um maybe a score shield or something like that but i think this is a solid combination for venusaur all right charizard charizard i run a muscle band so that every time i'm hitting with the basic attacks it's chunking away that life this is uh a little changed on charizard it doesn't happen every single time you hit them at first it was kind of bugged with that and they had to fix that but i still think it's a great item for any regular attackers and uh you will get a lot of use out of it, even if it isn't completely broken on Charizard. Buddy Barrier, I think, is almost necessary on everyone. And then Energy Amp, this is another one of those Pokemon that his Unite move is everything about him. Uh, so I run this on Charizard because I just want to make that Unite move the best thing possible. Pikachu. Pikachu, I run a Buddy Barrier, Wise Glasses, probably a focus band i know some people try energy amplifier on pikachu i don't think that's a terrible idea and for a long time i was also running a muscle band on pikachu he's ranged you're just chipping away at people and i've also run a shell bell on pikachu so i could see you running something like this as well uh but you could also just easily run this you could run a combination like this on almost everyone it's really really great right now alolan ninetales Buddy Barrier for obvious reasons. 
focus band to keep yourself alive people like to dive on you as alolan nine tails but when you're in that aurora veil and you have a focus band you're a little chunky from that buddy barrier you're in good shape you get so much uh so much mileage out of this muscle band with the lola nine tails because you are basic attacking everyone all the time i love this set on a lola nine tails it's great wiggly wiggly tough uh focus band really great item buddy barrier really great item experience share i have here purposefully because if you are running a uh, five-man team and you know you're the only person running experience share this is a pretty darn good item if you play well with your team otherwise this item is absolute trash at running it in solo queues insane so there are a few other options you could do something like wise glasses just to make your special attack stronger you could do something like I, i've seen people run a scope lens because your uh, double slap can crit and you know you could also run easily run a score shield i've run this before too you're a bully. Wiggly Tough is a bully, and I love bullying with him. So this is a really good build as well. Again, I would only run that experience share if you're with a set of people and they know you're playing support. In general, I wouldn't run it. Machamp, Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, Score Shield. This is just what I'm running on most all all-rounders right now. You could get a Scope Lens because Machamp is attack-based. I'm sure you could swap Focus Band and Score Shield and do something like Muscle Band and Scope Lens. Sure, but I, I can't get over how much fun I have running a build like this. It's just so good. Same thing with Slowbro. You could do this build easily with Slowbro. He's so bulky that you're just going to be bullying everyone. When I say bullying, what I mean is you're using your Surf. You're pushing them around. They can't seem to hurt you enough. You're going and scoring right in their face. That's bullying to me. Uh, so I would run something like this. I could also see, of course, you know, you wanting to increase Slowbro special attack and maybe using Wise Glasses. I ran Shell Bell for a while and I liked it a lot. But I recognize I'm in the minority when it comes to liking Shell Bell. Gengar. Gengar's a Pokemon that I could honestly see someone not running Buddy Barrier on Gengar. Uh, maybe putting Energy Amp here. Or maybe even, I have not upgraded these, but maybe even Special Attack Specs here on Gengar. Because Gengar is, is really unique. It's really unique in the fact that the way you're attacking with Gengar is you're coming out... You're picking someone off, and then you're running. And then you're picking someone off, and you're running. Kind of similar to how you see people play Absol a lot of the time. I still think Buddy Barrier is really good, because even though it's not going to help you in those small picks, you know, early in the game, late game, it's still one of the best items for a team fight. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, uh, I run Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, Wise Glasses. I could see swapping out Focus Band for maybe a Shell Bell here. Uh, I could also see you swapping out Focus Band for... What was it? What was I thinking of with Mime earlier? For a Score Shield, maybe? Oh, yeah. Or an Experience Share. Again, if it's a dedicated five-person team and you know that you're the only one running it. That's the only time I'd run Experience Share. Uh, Snorlax, Focus Band, Body Barrier, Score Shield. You're a monster. Become the monster that you are! Gardevoir is the only Pokemon where I look at its items and I think, I don't love this setup that much, but I think it's pretty good. You know what I actually might do? I might run Wise Glasses, Shell Bell, and I might swap Energy Amplifier here for Muscle Band, now that I think about it. Gardevoir, you you just have to be at range. If they, if they get in on you, you could swap this Muscle Band right here for a Focus Band... I don't know. I don't know. I, I might even rock Muscle Band in this situation. This is kind of a weird one. Uh, the only reason I'm not rocking Buddy Barrier on this Pokemon, which you absolutely could, by the way. This could be the next item here, easily. The only reason I'm kind of not is because Gardevoir's whole thing is it's either doing the damage or it's gone. So maybe I just want it doing the damage. This one I'm a little up in the air on, but I think there are a few good options here. Absol. Absol absolutely runs a scope lens. I've heard it needs to be to the left of muscle band. Again, I have not tested this, but I heard I've heard it doesn't work. I'm sure that's a you know a bug they're gonna fix in the next patch. 
but uh, scope lens, muscle band, focus band. I don't run Buddy Barrier often on Absol because again, this is one of those Pokemon that just kind of pops out, does what it needs to do and gets away. I think you might have more success with a focus band than a Buddy Barrier on Absol. And then it crits, so you need the crits. You need the crits. All right, let's see here. Ooh, Garchomp. Garchomp's a weird one. Garchomp also crits, but I think when you use Garchomp's Unite move, that Buddy Barrier is extremely important so that you can live through that Unite move and be fully ready to just attack everyone like a monster. Scope Lens so that you can do a ton of damage, and then a Muscle Band because you're going to be doing a ton of basic attacks, and this, this just helps you chunk people down. This is what I like running on Garchomp. Let's see. Lucario, Buddy, Focus, Score. You're just so mean. You're so mean, Lucario. Why you gotta be so mean? I love this on Lucario. I, I play Lucario a lot lately, and I just, I'm such a jerk with Lucario. It's very fun. Crustal, same thing. Score shield, focus span, buddy barrier. Uh, Crustal has so much HP. It's, it's so, it's so gross what happens with this score shield on Crustal. And then it's buddy barrier. It's already doing a shield. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. I love this on Crustal. I know some people run a scope lens on Crustal. I could see that uh, because its X attack does crit, but my job as a defender is not to crit that often. It's to defend. So I, I like the other items, but I could see it. Greninja. Greninja, I do muscle band because I feel like you're doing a lot of basic attacks with Greninja. Uh, Buddy barrier, I just still think is an amazing item and a focus band for Greninja. Greninja loses a lot of life really fast. I've seen people run other setups on Greninja, but I think given how I would recommend upgrading items in this game, I think this is a solid setup for Greninja. I know you could probably run crits on Greninja pretty well. So there's a min-max build for Greninja that's maybe better than this, but I think this is a solidly safe build. You're gonna stay alive long enough to do everything you need to do. So that's why I'd run that on Greninja. Talonflame is a weird one. I don't even know. Buddy Barrier on Talonflame. You know, I was going back and forth on Talonflame earlier. Absolutely a score shield because you're just moving around the map. I might swap Buddy Barrier here for a Focus Band, maybe. Maybe I'd run this, actually. Just because Talonflame's Unite move is so bizarre. Um, yeah, and I want to do the damage. Basically, with Talonflame, I just want to pop in, do damage, and get out of there. I might get more use out of a Focus Band than a Buddy Barrier. You might not need a score shield, but you are running around the map trying to find creative ways to score as Talonflame. At least that's often how I play Talonflame. So I think you're gonna want, want to run this score shield. This might be a really solid setup. You could swap one of these bands for a Buddy Barrier. You could always run a Buddy Barrier. Zara Aura, Focus Band, Muscle Band, just for the basic attacks that you're doing, uh, and then Buddy Barrier. Pretty basic. I want to keep Zara Aura alive when it's time to dive on in there and fight. And then the muscle band just to help with damage output. Cinderace. Cinderace, I usually run a scope lens because I'm just... My thoughts with Cinderace are I'm far away. I'm just chunking a lot of damage from you and that's it. You know, if you come to get me, if I can't get out of there with my eject button and my faint, I'm probably done. So I usually don't run a focus band. I usually run a scope lens, but this could easily be swapped with a focus band and you'd be doing just fine. Solid build, buddy barrier. You know, you see Cinderaces that just kind of pop their Unite moves so that they can move a lot faster and get that buddy barrier, stay alive. Really good. Eldegoss. Eldegoss, I'd only run this XP share again if you are with a team and they know that you are the one running XP share. I do like it, it's fun. Muscle Band, okay. Muscle Band is the best item on Eldegoss. I get so many sneaky KOs with this Muscle Band. I'm not even trying to get KOs. I'm just in the battle, I'm keeping my team alive and I'm chunking them down with my basic attacks. Eldegoss is ranged, I think this item if you aren't running this on Eldegoss, you got you need to be thrown in jail right now. And then uh, without a team, I would swap this for either Wise Glasses. This increase of special attack also increases the amount of healing you do. So that's pretty important. Or I would swap this with a Focus Band. If you're having trouble staying alive sometimes, I mean, 
it's kind of hard to get taken out with Eldegoss. I feel like when I get KO'd with Eldegoss, it was a full team KO. We lost the whole fight. Um, even without Focus Band, I find it very hard for enemies to pick me off. So I currently like running uh, the experience share again if I'm with a team. If I'm with a team, I will run something like this. But you, I, I don't very often have that luxury. And then, yeah, back to Cram. Back to Cram, Buddy Barrier, Wise Glasses, Energy Amp. This is something I've been trying out lately, but you could swap some of these. All right, let's talk about how I think you should upgrade items. You only get so many item enhancers in the game. The ones that you're not able to get, I would recommend buying with tickets. I would not really recommend spending money. I actually don't think you need to spend money to upgrade all of your items. The only reason I have even put any money in them is so I could test some of them. But the items that we have here that I would recommend upgrading, you could do this pretty easily free to play. So let's talk about what I would do. I would get three items to level 10 as quickly as you could in this order. Buddy Barrier. Buddy Barrier, I would get to level 10 before anything else, without question. Then I would get the Focus Band to level 10. The reason is when you're upgrading these items, they have sort of three tiers. When it first starts as a Focus Band, it recovers 8% of HP every second for three seconds, then 11%, and then finally 14%. So you want to get to these rungs here. You want to get from uh, level 1 to 10, 10 to 20. These items go all the way up to 30, but that's not, uh, that's not necessary for increasing their passives, which are the big reasons to use these items. So, Buddy Barrier to level 10 then Focus Band to level 10. Then most likely, I would do Muscle Band to level 10. You could run that set on every single Pokemon in the game and be at least somewhat decent. Now, if you say, Jake, I have a couple Pokemon I play more than anyone, then I would pick the specific item that works well for them. So for instance, if you play all special attackers, maybe instead of muscle band, I would go wise glasses. I could see that. So get wise glasses to level 10. Or if you say I play a lot of, you know, defenders, all rounders support, I would definitely get score shield to level 10. So it's one of those combinations. Uh, but basically those five items in this order, buddy barrier, focus band, muscle band, and then special, excuse me, not special attack specs, wise glasses or score shield. These are the five items that you want to upgrade. Once you have gotten your core three items to level 10 and then maybe your rotated item, so a score shield or, or, a, or wise glasses, then I would start upgrading items to level 20 in the same order. Buddy barrier, focus band, and then you can decide which item you use the most at that point, either muscle band, wise glasses, or score shield and get that one to 20. That's all you need is a few items to level 20. So let me tell you what this costs. To get items from level one to level 10, I actually wrote it down, but where did I write it down? Okay, I found it, I found, I found it, I found it. To get items from level one to level 10, you need 82 item enhancers. So actually not that much. You play this game for a couple weeks, you'll easily, you, you get them really, really fast uh, to get that amount of them. To go from level 10, to level 20, you need 485 item enhancers additionally. So you need the 82 and then you need 485. I'm gonna do the math on that. I can't do it in my head. 567 item enhancers takes an item from level one to level 20. That's all you need to do. Going to level 30, I don't know what that costs. I think it costs like a couple thousand. I've not put in anything <laughs> past level 20 in any of my items so and i don't think you need to it would look if you're the richest person in the world great go for it but otherwise i would not recommend it so again that order is buddy barrier focus band and then most likely muscle band if you have those three items at level 10 and then your rotated item either wise glasses or score shield you're set for almost every single pokemon in the game and then from there Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, again, probably Muscle Band or whichever one you use more, 
upgrade that to level 20. That's it. That's all you need to do with most all of your items and you will be in a great position to win your matches. Of course, this could all change and I'm sorry if it does. I'm sorry if this video comes out and a patch has already come out, it's destroyed Buddy Barrier. I don't know how they're gonna handle that because a lot of people have spent a lot of money. So you're gonna have someone who spent like a hundred bucks on upgrading items and then you nerf them all. I think people would be pissed. So we might see some of the weaker items get buffed, but I think some of the better items are most likely gonna stay where they are. I, I could totally be wrong here though. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps. That's all the items I would put on the Pokemon, how I would upgrade them, how much it costs to upgrade them, and I think we did it. You know what? Just in case somebody doesn't know, let me just show you in the shop where you upgrade or where you trade, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> where you trade tickets for item enhancers right here. An item enhancer costs 10 tickets. Right now I have 3,300 tickets. So if I wanted 50 item enhancers, I just need to put in 500 tickets. You get tickets pretty quick. So I would say between just playing for a couple weeks, uh, you will be able to upgrade at least three or four of those items to level 20 without question. Cause I have not put a ton of money at all into upgrading these items. I hope that helps. Just a little talk on items. Now I realize I've gone a lot longer than I expected. So I'm sorry about that. Thank you all for watching. I love you. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Milady, what was I thinking?